What up? Hey everybody, oh. we are live. Yeah. We're live, but Michael, I am blind. I cannot see the feed. Okay. There we go. Hi, <laughs> welcome to We Have This Broadcast uh, here on the Talkies Network. I'm your host, Kyle. Of course, joined by my two good friends and yours, Tom Bauer. How are you doing tonight, Tom? Hey, not yeah, too bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing tonight over there, our mix master and uh, digital wizard, Mr. Porter? You know, I had everything set up except for the fact that you guys could see the feed that I was sending. So I'm like, why don't they know we're fucking live right now? <laughs> uh, well, happy Friday, everybody. Happy I hope Friday. you're having a good one. We're in for a special treat here tonight. We're going back to the archives and taking a look at a Gumby uh, short. I'm very excited. Tommy prepared this for us. But before we get there, of course, we have to hit our headlines. Let's go ahead and begin. I'm just making sure the, the audio is really loud, so new stuff. Oh, for sure. Okay, there we go. Turn down that news audio, and then I'll get to my first headline. All right, so tragedy in the news when uh, 84-year-old Jack Ingram, NASCAR champion known as the Iron Man, dies. Um, Jack Ingram was a great racer. Um, he was a hot-tempered racer who won almost fi who won <laughs> five NASCAR championships and more than 300 races. Um, now that Jack Ingram or Iron Man has died, the NASCAR Infinity War will begin. To you, Kyle. Thank you, Thank you very much, Michael. Well, um, in other news, known murderer and police officer Derek Chauvin was sentenced to 22.5 years in prison today for the murder of George Floyd. Oh! Finally, some justice. Uh, his lawyer had this to say. Fuck, I wish I wasn't from Giuliani. <laughs> Thanks for that, Kyle. In other news, uh, Ringo Starr has dropped a lawsuit against a sex toy company that sells cock rings <laughs> under the Ring O brand name. In addition, the company can't make any innuendo uh, connecting the Beatle with the sex toy, so no sex puns based on the star's hits like It Don't Come Easy. <laughs> sell Ringo chocolate stars. Right? Anyway. <laughs> I thought it, I was really thinking it was going to be a yellow submarine um, pun. But... <laughs> uh, only use if uh, you're part of the Lonely Hearts Club band. Uh, now, only uh, use in your octopus's garden. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called manscaping. You're supposed to take care of it. <laughs> Tommy, what are we watching tonight? What's this, oh. this, this far? Oh, we have something from the public domain today. <laughs> uh, Gumby, actually the f very first episode of Gumby, uh, created by, we just talked about him, Art Clokey. Uh, mm -hmm. He uh, is considered a pioneer in uh, stop motion animation, or at least publicizing it, um, involving clay. In fact, uh, one of his very first features called Gumbasia, which it was actually a uh, homage to Walt Disney's Fantasia, was uh, uh, just a three minute, three and a half minute film featuring a bunch of uh, just stop motion claymation like figures and like spears and stuff uh, transforming and uh, turning into different clay objects uh, to jazz music. And that's what actually got him to start uh, in this very first cartoon for Gumby. I'm excited to show you guys this one. Uh, let's head over to the dub theater. Take three. Action, please. Ah, the French. Champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. That's that's nice. Yeah, right. Oh, well, hello and welcome. Hello. Oh, you do. Well, here we're fully vaccinated. Don't Sticky worry. floors. <laughs> this is a Gumby adventure. It's called Moo Rip. I mean, no. Moon Rip. Oh God. Sure. Oh. <laughs> this one is going to be a trip, all right. Uh, Classic sluggo. This, was, no. this is going to be a shot for shot of There Will Be Blood. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you said that this 
hope that a huge hand in popularizing the stop motion. That makes sense to me. We can't all be ranking bass and just do it badly all the time and get away with it. <laughs> I'm digging the new dub theater background. Oh, yeah. Upgrade. Yeah. Oh, me too. We upgraded everything. We. Uh, I dig it too. As Harry no Potter time. says in the movie, we took the lot. <laughs> I'm looking. Like the lot. I'll take the lot. Okay, okay, so I'm seeing imagery. I got. Oh, so Gumby uh, was looking up at the moon and it had a really scary, weird face on it for some reason. So he it was did like, have a very scary, weird face. Uh, guess I should go up there. Uh, so he's trying to figure out what the best way is to get up to that scary moon face from uh, Majora's Mask. This looks like it was nice. inspired by uh, Kubrick's Space Odyssey. Uh, oh, this I guess the color is pretty similar. <laughs> The imagery in Gumby always just kind of weirded me out. It was always very uh, cerebral to me, very... Heady, yeah. Yeah. It's very upsetting. You just <laughs> described it like a weed. Uh, Gumby's uh, pretty dense. Go, uh, go. Looking, Gumby's uh, pretty uh, sticky. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Uh, I prefer a, a, a hybrid Gumby. Um, and then just, you know, take a little bit and then check oh, out the field. We actually oh, the make these pokey. Gumbies in gummies. Want some gummy gummies? <laughs> oh, you got it. It's melting. It's gross. I don't like him. Oh, very acid trippy. Oh, yeah, this is kind of upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Those are, uh... Fucked up. <laughs> Those are Gumby's oh, parents. He just went through the door. Are we going to yeah. talk about that? Those are no. Gumby's parents? Those are Gumby's parents, oh, yeah. What's okay. his relationship with them like? Um, pretty going, good. Is it good? Yeah. His dad's going through a midlife crisis and just bought the nice sports car. Is that going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Definitely a toupee. He's, he's struggling. Guys. I like. Uh, I want him I'll... to get hit by the spaceship and have his toupee spinning in midair. <laughs> there they go, for the grace of God. <laughs> you know, I always thought that little patch of, of skates that lines up that looks like a standing man, starting with Louisiana at the bottom. Mm. I always thought it looked like if Ziggy was a chef. <laughs> Y'all read a lot of Ziggy over here. Oh, I'm Jesus a big Christ. Ziggy fan. Not a lot of character design went into that last. Uh, <laughs> uh, just put a bunch of toothpicks in it. Gumby stuck in a series of scarier and scarier Primus album covers. <laughs> Gumby's eyeballs look like uh, fried just... eggs to me. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to know what so that much was. work into the interior of this spaceship. What lotion <laughs> is Gumby using? He needs he's kinda got dry skin a little bit. Gumby's sued. T zone is a mess. Especially since it's a an oblong rectangle. So no slow. Gumby, don't go slow. S Gumby, come on. <laughs> it's a school zone. <laughs> We'll get there fast enough. Gumby, you're in the carpool it. lane. Come on. Now we see where George Lucas got it all. <laughs> what year was this, Tom? Uh, 1950... Early 19... Or late 1950s. Oh, okay. So, kids are watching... I don't know, Bonanza? <laughs> <laughs> While well, funny... smoking a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> That's right. I know God was brought up uh, earlier. Uh, funny enough, uh, Art Cloakey also went on to uh, make the uh, David, uh, the Davy and Goliath uh, stop that motion. That I do know. Oh, yeah, that's boy. right. They did a parody of it on The Simpsons. Uh, so that must mean Gumby has some kind of fitting as a biblical symbol. So yeah, we there's have to definitely... figure out what Gumby is. Is he Jesus? Is he God? <laughs> is he us? Depending on how this ends, he might be Lucifer. Let's see how he falls. <laughs> Uh, Gumby, of course, is an allegory for Lot. <laughs> um, if he kills one of his sons, he's Abraham. Uh, deep Bible reference. <laughs> it's like page <laughs> <Deep> 10. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, any more Bible jokes? All right. <laughs> uh, no, actually. Hello, and I hope that you're plugged in and strapped on because it's time for phallic titles. 
game where we take uh, the, the name of something and we make it real gross. Uh, <laughs> so tonight, uh, I, I put these images together. That's my job. Um, we are doing M. Night Shyamalan Overture uh, of his work. This oeuvre, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> and don't forget, if you're out there in the chat, we love when you play along, so we want to hear you in the chat uh, as we get it. And if we uh, skip it, we'll go back to it. So um, even if we pass the title, um, put that very naughty, naughty title in the chat box, where you know. All right, that was my <laughs> born very taken <laughs> that, that was, Sorry, oh, I, I have. I thought, a, I thought it was. Thought it was Powers. Austin Powers. Yeah, oh, that's what I was going. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll know that my Austin Powers. Is just so uh, here. <laughs> Do you talk to animals, Eliza? Do you? <laughs> here we go, Eliza. You're right. It is awesome powers. Okay. <laughs> Old. Oh, oh no, I don't want to think of a valid title. <laughs> uh, uh, my title is Gilf. <laughs> <laughs> Bold. Mm. It's Bold. a necrophiliac horn. Cold. Ugh. Oh no. Oh. Or an Elsa one. Oh. Uh, the village. The. The spillage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had, we had mold. Nice. Oh, yeah. Unfuckable. <laughs> <laughs> Unbendable. <laughs> the village orgy from the last <laughs> The village orgy. Unbroobable. Unfoobable. <laughs> Disboobable me. Uh, uh, the ass clapping. Oh, Ooh. fuck. That's better than anything I had. The fappening. Oh, yeah. Thing, yeah. The. Uh, Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, change needed on the happening from the, the, s- the sixth inch. <laughs> The six men's. <laughs> the sex sex. The sex stench. We had the coming. Just the coming. Coming, yeah. Coming, 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 coming. Table for coming. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, playing with strangers. <laughs> Eat, pray, fuck. Uh, that's not. <laughs> that's not really has to do with it. But. <laughs> Uh, we had the six squirt. That's a good Oh, point. nice. Nice. Goes to those points. That's all I got. Uh, uh, the last rear ender. Oh, <laughs> you took it. Yes. Yeah. In double D. <laughs> Real that. D, double D. Not, not the fake kind. That ass is a dick bender. <laughs> the dick bender. Um, the visit. The the jizzed. Yeah. 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 All right, all right, all right. Oh. Uh, the lady into water sports. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's in the squirt category for sure. Mm-hmm. It's on Twitch. Um Ooh, it's a really weird fetish called Afterbirth. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> the placenta uh, should not be involved. We had a couple back. The visit to my ass. <laughs> nice. Lady in the cum. The lady in the cum. Ew, get her out of there. She's just, she's she's just drowning in it. Are, are, uh-huh. Can someone uh, fix my afterbirth? Or are we just going to leave? No, you got to uh, take over. responsibility for that, Porter. Afterbirth will just live. Hold on. I, I've got something. Stall for me. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, shame on you, Porter. I'm just going to just spend this whole time... Shat shaming you chat okay good Fuck, that wasn't good <laughs> it, it it replaced what shall not be said again it's the servant um uh uh, uh 10 inch serpent <laughs> <laughs> that's creative thank you you got us out of that i couldn't think of anything um why to gape <laughs> but rosie o'donnell's still in it <laughs> no no, no. <laughs> shubidu shabida <laughs> Do wide a game. But she says when she got uh, climaxes. When I looked at the <laughs> thumbnail, I thought that was David Spade, but uh... <laughs> no, that's a tiny Dennis Leary. <laughs> All right. Uh, ass. Sorry. Ass. Yeah. 
and then like the uh, the like little caption at the bottom is it's italicized. This is no one rides for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's signed. Oh uh, shit! Uh, hurry, someone! I can't think of it. Sign, uh, hind. <laughs> hind. Uh, no. <laughs> It's a Jeff Foxworthy parody. Um, split. Tit. Uh, uh, tits. Tit. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Spit. <laughs> all right. And I think that is all of them. Nice. Two. Yeah, part two of this moon trip. Do either of you have any favorite stop motion thing? Uh, um, I really, really enjoyed Coraline. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like Coraline's good. Yeah, Corpse Bride is bad. <laughs> like the robot chicken stuff, especially because oh, they yeah. pumped it out like a show. You know, all the time, like they were you know, producing. Oh yeah, I used to watch Robot Chicken all the time back in the day. I bought yeah. it on DVD. Gumby's got those thick thighs, but he's still got the gap that everybody, you know, dreams of. So. Well, this is kind of proto Gumby. That's not quite his right. like famous design. I do not like these little like. You don't triangle, like the triangle creatures? These little prisms. Does the band around Gumby change along the years? Like in the '90s, he gets puka shells. Uh, no, I... I think that's just specifically uh, so that he's waited on the moon. Oh. oh. Do you think after he finished Dark Cloak, he turned to someone and showed them this and was like, could a depressed person make this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those eyes are bothering me. <laughs> oh, they're like little snail eyes. Oh, you guys think they're eyes. Okay. Oh. oh. oh no. <laughs> oh, those are, are I, peens? I, I hope they're eyes, yeah. They're, they're sex organs, yeah. More like cumby. Breaking the news, pyramids. local man makes the joke the first time anyone's ever made it. <laughs> Wait, there's a bigger pyramid thing. So that, you know, leads all the same questions we have for cars. Can they reproduce? Oh, and they travel Do they file. grow up? Are they made or are they born? That's true. <laughs> they travel single file, just like um, Tuscan Raiders. Do you think they sing a song or make a sound and they... They go, ding, go ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Well, it looks like... Uh... <laughs> oh, you, you throw in one group of Harlem Globetrotters and this is going on for another hour. <laughs> Everyone just running in and out of doors. Oh, shit. What just happened? The the multimedia parts are very interesting. Oh, this is they... just like in It's a Wonderful Life when the dance floor breaks. <laughs> Gumby, you got to do the Charleston into the crack. It's like George Bailey did. Uh, damn it. Oh, oh no, come here. No, 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 come be in the crack. <laughs> I know what to do here. Hey, hold on, hold on. That, that old man almost gave that little boy a poison. Oh. Uh, Gumbyville. <laughs> I can't wait for my brother to die in Vietnam. <laughs> I <Korea>. can't. <laughs> World War Two. I don't super know which one it was. I've got to go after him. Oh, there's Gumby's parents. He just I said, like I, that. "I gotta go after him." I gotta go after him. I got back my family. It's well, turned guys, into Taken. <laughs> I was gonna ask you what this. What do you guys think the this environment feels like? And I remembered it would probably feel like clay, and I felt really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do stop motion stuff when I was younger. Oh yeah? Yeah, I had this Jack Skellington that had like a wireframe inside of him. And I would like make little animations on my phone. Um, I, I used to think it was really fun. Um, I, I loved mean, The Night Before Christmas. Imagine if your parents let you do acid at that time, you would have made something just like this. I would have been the most <laughs> privileged 14 year old you'd ever met if I was <laughs> dropping acid. No, I was, uh, I was playing mainly with Kinex. Ooh, look at that fur. Get yeah. 
Oh my god. He's like, I gotta go save Gumby, but I'm gonna get my nicest fur on. <laughs> I want them to see we're classy. Jesus Christ, a fucking moon. Yeah, it looks like uh, somebody's ready, to, getting ready to carve a jack-o'-lantern. That moon took out John McAfee, dude. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. I thought it was the Clintons. <laughs> and I got a notification saying, do you want to accept the risk of this virus? And that's what I got. <laughs> that's bloatware, bloatware. <laughs> I'm not, Tommy, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, uh, Art Cloakey uh, is a very interesting guy. So he got a fire truck and shot water at the dragon head that lives in the sky? Yeah, he used the oh, ladder to... to fucking speed you know, I'm convinced that they're at Burning Man now. The one guy's just wearing a vest that's fluffy. They're in the middle of the desert. There's all these weird <laughs> things happening. They're at the burn. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I, I thought it was weird when Gumby's dad got uh, um, X sprayed in his face from a water bottle. <laughs> he was just trying to walk from one place to another. <laughs> All right. Time to play everybody's favorite game show. Real. like I lost last time, so I'm going to go this time, and I'm going to try and make up for it. Holy yeah. fuck, there's a winner? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Homer. Oh, Homer. I don't know. Oh, Homer. I'm going to have to get some anchor lines for my best Homer. You guys got a good Homer anchor line? Uh, mm. Pretty good. Go from there. Try to sound like a worse Robin Williams. <laughs> <laughs> or I get a choice. And for my last spin, try to do a spin there. I think if I, if I go towards the camera, it almost looks like uh, Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so my iconic dads. What do you guys think? Should I do mm, donuts? I'm Homer. Homer J. Simpson. Or <laughs> uh, I'm Peter. Peter Griffin. Uh, this Peter, is me. Do Peter. Okay, yeah, I'll do, do Peter. Peter. All right, that's my I like Peter. I know it's not. Homer. It's not great, but and it's kind of like a fast announcer. I gotta slow it down. Give me a Peter and anchor line before I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peter. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. You got this. <sighs> hey guys, I was just walking about five feet and oh god, are my pitch sweaty? Lois! Ah, uh, never mind. Um, so... <laughs> how was that? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is it, Peter? Hey, I was I was wondering if you knew where my antiperspirant was, huh? It's probably downstairs under your mattress. Oh, let me go get it. Peter? That's... I'm okay. <laughs> hey, uh, so if your pitch gets sweaty, get an antiperspirant. Dumbass. Oh wait, he doesn't say dumbass. I I just did red fox right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dumbass. Uh, hey, there's my uh, deodorant. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. all right, my turn. Ready to spin that wheel? All right, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, spin. Okay, wait, wait. That uh, wheel. wheel. I'm gonna move it closer to you so that next time it looks just perfect. All right, your first one, you get. Oh, you almost got Whoopi. You got Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm gonna spin one more time. <laughs> one more right, time. Right. Yeah, other way. You got it. Last one, you'll get it. You get it just right. John C. Riley. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll be John C. Riley. Why not? That's pretty good. I like that. Okay. I'm gonna spin that wheel again and see what I can get. Or you could always just make a choice. Um, I'll stick with John C. Riley. Okay, let's screw it. Nice. Wow, I'm really excited by the situation that I found myself in. <laughs> An SUV. What is it? 
or sports SUV. SUV or sports car. I thought it said Spartacus. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten an SUV before. Let me spend one more time. Okay. Let's see. Uh, there you go. You did it. Wrong. But I did it. That's okay. <laughs> the wheel still knew what to do. Oh, you were almost going to get it again. But you got a board game. Board game. Choose the okay, board okay. game if you want to be specific. Okay. Ready? Oh, I'm ready. Hey, America. I'm John C. Riley. And saying sorry can be the hardest part of any day. But now with Milton Bradley, huh, you ain't even got to say sorry. You just place it on the table. And you click in that little bubble. Huh, look at that. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you just put the pieces into the slot and make the right you connection. Make the right connection. <laughs> then you something, something, racing the clock. Then pop. Oh, perfection. Go perfection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tommy. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, and oh, I, I'm in charge of the wheel. I forgot. <laughs> I thought the wheel just spun on its own. Go ahead and spin that wheel. <laughs> Let's do it. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can do Yoda. Yo, 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 yo. You can still do Yoda if you want, or your choice. Uh, <clears> spin <throat> it two more times. <laughs> Let's do it. Where did you mark? Yeah. Mm, do or do not, homie. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> and your final choice shall be. Ah, it's really, uh, it's kind of something. Uh... It was almost David Attenborough, but it's, right. it's not. <laughs> your choice. I'll do Jeff Goldblum. Do it. You know. Use your voice. What are you gonna sell, <laughs> Jeff? Let's see. Now, Tommy, sing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Selling diet pills. <laughs> diet pills. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. And away you sell. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> whoever said that a uh, smell can bring back a flood of memories. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Diet. diet pills. Diet pills. That's worse. <laughs> it's a mindset. It's a focus. A deep-seated uh, spirit. Yeah. Uh, it's... It's an inner strength to keep you f planted firmly on the ground, no matter what presses against you. No, it's confidence, it's belief. It's the way of life. Hey, Wait, we're selling diet pills again? Did someone say spirit stallion of the Cimarron? <laughs> 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 that, was, that was one of my favorites ever. That was awesome, man. Great job. That'll take and us. that was Wheel of, of Voices! Voices. And the video's not there, so we'll just go. Imagine it says part three. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so Gumby's dad is still sporting uh, his, a very his best Burning Man outfit. <laughs> yeah. he, he, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen Triple X with Vin Diesel, but he wears this costume at one point. <laughs> um, I only I, watch Fast Five, uh, none of the other well, Fast and the Furious movies. It's not part of the Triple X universe, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, there's Triple X, Triple X Two, State of the Union, Triple X Three, uh, The Return of the Andy Cage. And Triple X Tentacion, who is, uh, um, I think, a dead man. Um, For me, anything uh, Vin Diesel, you know, is trying to interfere with the universe, and therefore I just can't watch it. So Fast yeah. Five only. Fast Vin five. Diesel's trying to interfere with the universe. Um, just all his other movies, you know, just you know, it feels like they're. You mean trying like to... the universe that you and I inhabit, um, or like the cinematic universe? Specifically, uh, Vin Diesel's character in Fast and the Furious, which I wish I could recall right now. And his his name is Dominic Toretto. Right, right, of course. <laughs> That's what Part Jason family. Statham says his name. He goes, Toretto. A lot of these That's... shots, they're not even doing stop motion. They're just like, hey, just kind of like wiggle it above the camera. 
We don't got time. <laughs> Is there any dialogue, Tom? Uh, very little in the first uh, Gumby cartoons. Uh, they basically just say, uh, I mean, all the context it, you, is more visual than anything. They basically just say stuff like, oh, wow, we got to go. That's uh, that's that's, a, that's a, to that, a, that extent. A lot of coming happening right now. <laughs> and uh, Sriracha spraying, too. That's right. Oh, man, I knocked up the Sriracha earlier. Oh. <laughs> oh, Gumby, Jesus. Oh. I've been there. Oh. <laughs> Why did he give him like the? Oh, okay, never mind. His eye animation was weird to me. <laughs> like he was gonna take advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. Uh, I really don't like the way the eyes fold down to like convey eye eyelids. Right. <laughs> it's really gross. There was a frame where. Oh, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> like. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> doll hospital. Yeah, the doll. <laughs> Not a doll. Apparently, uh, Gumby's mom is a nurse. Oh, that's the more backstory than I ever anticipated. <laughs> Dude, who do you think will want to fight, Gumby or Mr. Bill? Oh, uh, Gumby for sure. Mr. Bill always gets hurt. It's true. Oh, but right. he always comes back. It's true. Gumby doesn't look like he's coming back from this. It's true. They're already. Oh, no. My good friend Gumby got hurt. <laughs> They're putting him in an iron lung. <laughs> they are! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, well, I guess Gumby got polio, but, uh... This is the only other, uh, anime character I can think of who's been in an Iron Lung who's not Tweety Bird. <laughs> oh, so we I guess we've decided John C. Riley's voiced by Gumby, here. then, for the rest of <laughs> Part 3. Who would be the dad? Turn up that oxygen, that shit rocks. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's Rob Riggle. And then... <laughs> uh, <laughs> the mom is a good person to play the mom. Uh... <laughs> How's that, Gumby? How's that oxygen? Pumping it to you! <laughs> 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 that's my mom. <laughs> oh shit, I pumped too much oxygen to the Gumby! <laughs> And then the mom could just be a, a Marge. Hmm. Gumby. 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 Oh, we should think of someone. I think Captain's okay, a good choice. Oh, yeah. That we need someone who's easier for us to Im impersonate, though. So, Captain Han, we would love to cast you, but you're not easy to impersonate. Oh, I, I know who could, could be a, a good Gumby's mom. It's fucking me, bro. Holly Hunter. <laughs> Holly Hunter. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill Super. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> kill that Gumby man. Don't you fucking kill with me? You talk about no shit. Oh, it's like a South Park character. I can't think oh, which one it is. I'm a United States. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna let you pop a pass. Is he Lindsey Graham? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't seen Batman vs. Superman? No. Mostly about legislation, actually. I love legislature. Legislature. <laughs> oh, he, oh my up. fucking god, he fucking did. <laughs> 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 really Don't pull it. the yellow one. No! <laughs> Dad, I told you not to pull the yellow one. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. It's my Rob Riggle, that's all I got. I'm sorry, son. <laughs> I but it was a riot! I <laughs> fall off of his eye for a second there. <laughs> yeah. You got a fucking freak guy. <laughs> Gumby! Mother and father, I do declare, one of my irises has escaped from the boundaries of my eyeball. The end! <laughs> <laughs> a cloaky That's production. how it ends. Very confusing. <laughs> Is Gumby alive? We don't know. Gumby, um, well, no, he's fine. He, he rode his little, his little hospital car away. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for watching. We interrupt this broadcast, the only show on the internet, um, here on the Talkies Network. Uh, it was a good show, everybody. Uh, what do we think of uh, good old Gumby? Very weird. <laughs> very, yeah. very strange visuals. Uh, true. Very, like, uh, realism. Like, they were just, like, they went for, like, uh, we're going to show, like, the director was like, we're going to show the whole hospital visit. I want everybody to experience what it's like to get an MRI. <laughs> That's true. If we examine the pacing, <laughs> uh, it yeah. all 
all they could have just showed like Gumby was in the MRI. Let's move on. What happens next? But they're like, oh, the we're gonna show Gumby go this... in. We want to show him getting strapped in. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see the whole like MRI. Whole medical drama i thought it was really weird in the third act when cal penn showed up joined the cast did great and then dropped out and his character committed suicide um but that that was gumby um thank you for watching everybody uh any last thoughts on gumby while we're thinking about him trying i'm just trying to he didn't have pokey yet that felt weird no, yeah, um, Pokey comes in the next couple episodes, and actually, uh, Art Cloakey uh, will provide the voice of Cloakey. Uh, it uh, provided the voice of uh, Pokey throughout the entirety funny. of the series. I wish Mickey Mouse had been named like Malt Misney. <laughs> <laughs> Malt Misney. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, anyways, thank you for watching, everybody, and joining us here on the Talkies Network. You can catch us every Monday and Friday at 8 o'clock. We're also live sometimes during the week on Thursdays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, playing all kinds of games. Uh, Monday, you can catch us doing our fan fiction show, uh, Popcorn Readings, which I named, which I shouldn't forget the name of. <laughs> um, and uh, you can always catch us here on Fridays at 8. Tommy, do you have anything going on this week? Nothing this week. No worries. All right, Michael, any last words? Um... I'm going to leave you guys with an outro video of some of our shows. You can catch me on Wednesday nights doing retro games. I know that Tommy's doing chill screens on Thursdays. You yeah. Check that out. And um, we'll be back again on Friday. And don't forget about, of course, our next stream coming up. Kyle, what's happening on Monday for Popcorn Reading? Secrets? Popcorn Reading? That's right. Uh, secrets, secrets are no fun. Secrets, secrets... I will eventually choose one uh, to read on it. Um, right. yeah. I'm going to find a, a fan fiction for us to read. Last week we had the exciting, or this Monday we had the exciting adventures of um, Bella and Iron Man. A sneak Bella attack Twilight. Twilight, really. But it's yeah. true. It was a sneak attack I told them about before I did it, and I got away and with I it. Forgot. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody right. have a great night. Stay safe out there. And uh, oh. remember, it's okay to forget. Thought it'd be funny to make her look like Vin Diesel. Exactly. <laughs> Faster. Stronger. Furious thing. You're back. Here's the thing. When they edit me out of those movies now. Oh, and it's dressed like Bud Lightyear's head. Yes. Yeah, the eight people just old. back up and blend in. The cuckoo clock of moon. You know <laughs> I see episodes are getting shorter and shorter. You're Superman. Stop this. He broached.